China is a big bridge country. In the past 10 years, China has set new records for bridge construction in the world almost every year. Among the world's top 10 long span bridges, arch bridges, cable stayed bridges, and suspension bridges, China each accounts for half of the number. As far as the level of bridge construction is concerned, China is definitely a global forerunner at present. Most of the difficult and record-setting bridges in the world are built by China. This video is mainly to share with friends the unique contribution of Chinese bridges to the world. The first contribution of Chinese bridges to the world is the Three Tower Plan. In the past, the spans of bridges built on the Yangtze River were not very large. Why is China now building bridges with larger spans? The main purpose is to balance cross-strait traffic demands and shipping safety at a higher level. We all know that China's inland waterway transportation is very busy. According to statistics, in 2019, the freight volume of the mainstream of the Yangtze River was 2.93 billion tons, while the freight volume of the Mississippi River in the United States was only 865 million tons in the same period. Bridge engineers have been working hard to improve the spanning capacity of bridges, but the larger the span, the higher the technical difficulty and the more expensive the bridge. Is there a better choice? Chinese engineers independently innovated and adopted multiple continuous main spans to cover navigable waters, thereby reducing the span of single-hole bridges and saving construction costs. For example, the Taizhou Yangtze River Bridge is the world's first suspension bridge with double main spans and three towers with a kilometer span, and China has independent intellectual property rights. When Chinese engineers designed the Taizhou Yangtze River Bridge, they made full use of the W-shaped section of the riverbed at the bridge location and set up a bridge tower in a shallow water area using two large spans to span the entire navigable waters of the Yangtze River to meet the needs of navigation and reduce the span of the bridge. Compared with conventional construction schemes, using the three-tower scheme, the span of the bridge can be reduced by half, and the project cost is also significantly reduced. The second contribution of Chinese bridges is the new structure of the three-cable plane. The new structure of three-cable planes is a structure proposed to adapt to the construction of multifunctional bridges. The so-called multifunctional bridge means that one bridge carries multiple traffic functions and combines high-speed railways, intercity railways, subways, light rails, expressways, municipal roads and other traffic loads to solve the needs of multiple traffic functions with one bridge, thereby reducing the number of bridges. Concentrating a variety of traffic functions on one bridge means that the bridge bears heavier loads and the bridge is wider. Therefore, my country has pioneered the three-cable plane cable-stayed bridge structure, which is to combine the horizontal and two-cable plane cable-stayed bridge structures. The two fulcrums of the bridge become three lateral fulcrums, thereby changing the lateral force. The three-cable plane cable-stayed bridge structure was first applied in the construction of the Tiangsingshao Yangtze River Bridge and was later promoted on a large scale, contributing to the progress of bridge technology in the world. The third contribution is swivel construction. The so-called swivel construction is to use the site on the shore and the mountains on both sides to assemble it at a convenient place instead of assembling it at its final position. The Yajisha Bridge in Guangzhou is a super large arch bridge. In order to realize the assembly of the arches, the two half arches were first assembled on both sides of the river and then turned vertically for the first time to reach the position of the bridge elevation and turned horizontally for the second time to reach at the centerline of the bridge. The weight of the entire swivel is 13,600 tons. This was a major breakthrough in the construction technology of long-span arch bridges in the world at that time. The fourth contribution is the overall prefabricated erection. In the early days of the founding of New China, the capacity of girder bridge erection in China was only about 80 tons. Today, the span of prefabricated box girders for China's high-speed rail has reached about 40 meters, and the weight exceeds 1,000 tons. In order to complete the overall prefabricated erection, the equipment for moving, lifting, transporting and erecting is very critical. Based entirely on independent research and development, China has successfully developed a variety of Big Macs, including 450-ton beam lifting machines, 900-ton beam transport vehicles, and 900-ton bridge erecting machines, ensuring the high-quality construction of Chinese bridges. The fifth contribution is the bridge across the sea. China has a coastline of 32,000 kilometers, with numerous river estuaries and coastal islands. There are three main technical challenges in building a cross-sea bridge, the first is that the bridge is very long. The second is that the weather is complicated, the wind and waves are strong, and the effective operation time in a year is only about 180 days. The third is that due to the corrosive environment of the ocean, the durability of the bridge is more prominent. 
The conventional on-site construction method of building bridges on rivers and lakes is not suitable. The bridge must be prefabricated as a whole and erected with the whole hole. In the construction of the Donghai Bridge, the Cross Sea Bridge has a total length of 32 kilometers and a beam weight of 2,100 tons. At that time, China used a small island called Shenzhiawen in the sea as a base to prefabricate the beam body, and finally used a special transport girder for lifting. The ship Little Swan carried out the overall transportation and erection. Today, Chinese bridges have reached world-class standards in terms of spanning capacity, bridge construction technology, bridge construction materials, and bridge construction equipment, making China's contribution to the development of world bridge technology.